Hello everybody, my name's Howie, and I'd like to share a story with you about one of my watches. Uh, it's a Gruen Air Flight, as you can see here. It's a big boy. Um, yeah, basically the story is, uh, I'm a watchmaker uh, by trade, uh, and I also, as a hobby, I do the same thing. So when I'm not fixing watches for other people, you know, I take it with my own watches and, and try to, you know, come up with different things. So anyways, uh, when I was in watchmaking school, uh, there was other students there. We all had the same enthusiasm. We'd go to flea markets and garage sales and scoop up anything mechanical, watch-related, and, and do our best to learn and dissect. And, and there was a student there who had a huge collection of watches that he had amassed over the years. And, and one day he just brought in this box and uh, full of movements and watches and just let us have at it. So we were like vultures. And, you know, I managed to score a good couple, a good 20 movements and watches. Uh, and I've used them over the years for uh, repairs. You know, I take a jewel here or a screw here. And it's been really useful. Um, so a few months ago, I went. I decided to go through the box again, see what's in there, see if I missed anything. And, and I found this Gruen movement. Uh, it's just a normal uh, time-only mo movement, or so I thought. Uh, and I looked at the dial side, and there was an interesting module on it. And I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. It was had the there was a snail cam on the hour wheel, and there was a, a, this weird lever system, and I couldn't figure it out. And and then I, you know, over investigating, I figured out it was for an air flight, which was really exciting, because I love these watches. Uh, basically, on when you look at the the dial, you have a 12-hour dial, and then when it gets to one o'clock, there's a disc that rotates and all of a sudden exposes a 13 to 24-hour dial. It's really cool. Um, but I didn't have the case, the dial, the hands, you know, at, at that point. So I went on the hunt on, you know, uh, different online auction sites to see what I could find. And that's a, a bit of a tall order, I, I realized. So I was just looking for a, bo a broken one that I could fix or something. And then I came across this uh, listing that was for a dummy watch or a display watch. So it was an air flight that uh, had never been used, uh, never even had a, a, a proper movement in it. Uh, basically, yeah, just for display. So I was hoping and praying that if I bought this that I could make it work with the movement I had. So I, I took the gamble and I bought it. It was more than I wanted to pay, but you know, you only live once, I guess. So anyways, uh, it came and I managed to get it all to fit together nicely. It was uh, really exciting. The, the disc worked perfectly, the mechanism worked perfectly. I did have to do a little bit of repair on the, on the movement. I had to replace some parts on the, the gear train, but other than that, it was a success story. So now I'm stoked. The watch is, it looks like it's brand new, but it's from the, you know, from the 70s or so. So uh, yeah, pretty excited. So that's my story. I hope you enjoyed.